he had such a, I think, ahead of its time and forward thinking view for for the ser- for Tiger at that time. Yeah. There was never a discussion of it being a series then, <laughs> you know. The Tiger franchise is really close to my heart. Yeah. I know it's close to all of us, Salman, me, Adi, all of us are mm-hmm. very, very connected and kind of, you know, woven together with this <laughs> uh with this franchise. Well, I don't know if I'm I'm the OG. I'm sure there's been many people who've done action, but for me action and dance are are, are two two disciplines you can say that I have an affinity to. Yeah. I really want to see strong female action roles. I'd love to do, you know, a female action franchise. Yeah. It's Pathan, whether it's Kabir, whether it's Tiger. Um they all have such incredible Zoya, um yeah. all, all the characters have got such incredible well-written characters. Shriram Raghavan was always on my bucket list of directors yeah. that I absolutely wanted to work with. Can I do another spy thriller with him? <laughs> you love spy no, thrillers. No, I love spy thrillers. <laughs> but have you ever discussed Zoya's spin-off with Adi or anyone, any of the directors who are making it? No. Hi guys, this is Himesh and welcome to Pink Villa. Today we have with us the biggest star of our generation, Katrina Kaif. Welcome to Pink Villa, Katrina. It's Thank lovely having you here. How oh, sweet. Katrina, my first question to you is, over 240 crores in three days. How does this number feel? It feels like a lot of India has celebrated Diwali with us, which is a wonderful feeling. Because yeah. um, it's one of my favorite times of the year. Yeah. And this year having Tiger release during the Diwali festivities, just made it very special yeah. and um i think it's a it's a diwali i'll always remember yeah. a lot of nerves a lot of <laughs> excitement um but also a lot of love yeah. a lot of warmth and um it was a wonderful time i think the last film i had release on diwali was surya vanshi no jab tak hai jaan jab tak hai jaan yeah. yeah i think even surya vanshi was diwali in pandemic the first film to release I trust you if you say so. Yeah. <laughs> I take your word for it. <laughs> you know Tiger your journey with Tiger started in 2012. Hmm. From 2012 till now how according to your Zoya evolved. You know I was actually just thinking about this that you know in 2012 when we started Ekta Tiger we started at that point with Kabir who of course was a yeah. dear friend of mine. And you kind of I'll take the journey of of Tiger and Zoya together yeah. if that's okay. You kind of started with these two um really strong fierce independent individuals yeah. who kind of came together but they were it was almost like you know a battle of a battle of you could say the sexes in a way because they were from two countries. completely you know um they were com- from two different countries and yeah. there was a lot of obstacles they had to face to be together yeah. and to see that kind of equation and that relationship evolve from Ekta yeah. Tiger to Tiger Zinda hai Yeah. where they get married you know sure. they have a child and now to tiger 3 um it's been really interesting <laughs> it's been fun because it's almost followed it's almost been part of like my <laughs> life right so like yeah. as my life is also going on <laughs> off screen then you know you keep coming back to the tiger films on screen and their their relationship and their life is also yeah. progressing and it's moving <laughs> moving ahead so it's been a really um a really wonderful journey i think to get to play a character like zoya such a strong well written female character yeah. um who's doing action which i love <laughs> i mean i've always admired the kind of you know action film charlie's theron halle berry you know anne hathaway i've yeah. i've loved those roles and i've yeah. just, i've always felt an affinity to them like okay this is this is something which i know is um is going to be the right fit for me. <laughs> yeah. So right from Ekta Tiger to even Tiger Zinda Hai where we had that fantastic um you know Tera Noor sequence yeah. which was uh, so beautifully uh, conceptualized to then Tiger 3 where I've had these multiple action multiple action yeah. sequences in different styles yeah. so you're always getting to learn different 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 types of fights um in different disciplines yeah. and um it's been it's been an incredible challenge for us to try to keep that level up there yeah. and um loved every moment of it but you know like you said you know tiger is probably i i think tiger is probably the only franchise in indian cinema where all three films are directed by three different filmmakers kabir oh, ali yeah. and manish i didn't i didn't think of that so as an actor hmm. how do you view each one's approach to the to the franchise in terms of the treatment 
So Kabir is the is the person who first conceptualized this yeah. whole concept, right? You have an Indian agent, you have a Pakistani agent, and this incredible love story. So it all originated with him, and I remember those conversations, and I remember that journey, and it was, it was, it was wonderful to see that that process kind yeah. of unfold. He's a incredibly collaborative director you know he's so amiable he's always open to your ideas to your suggestions and you you always feel he's hearing you completely he's not just nodding his head and yeah. being like okay i'll do what i want he's really <laughs> listening to you and that's yeah. that's one of the most wonderful things about kabir and then he explains and he he'll debate with you and converse with yeah. you on it and um he had such a i think ahead of its time and forward thinking view for for the ser- for Tiger at that time, yeah. there was never discussion of it being a series. Then <laughs> you know, then when uh, Tiger Zindahe came yeah. about, that again was made with a wonderful friend of mine, Ali Abbas Zafar, yeah. who had written the story again with a very very clear vision. I remember discussing it with him along the way as he was writing the film, and he was he knew exactly what he wanted to deliver with the film. He again is someone who really is strong. He knows his mind. I think he's has a natural affinity to the kind of big commercial films. You know, I yeah. think that's that's his language, and he excels in that language. Yeah. And um, Manish Sharma, I think, was is someone who really gets into character. You know, hmm. he really, really gets into the details of the character. Yeah. He wants to know the backstories. He wants to know <laughs> what they're thinking. He wants to know what made them the people they are today. Yeah. And um, I think that's that's kind of what gives this a new, a new and a fresh, fresh. a fresh spin. Yeah. Which is your favorite Tiger film? It is difficult to pick, but yeah, it's difficult. Yeah, I I see it as a journey. So for me, yeah. for me, it's a journey which is still which is still ongoing. Yeah. So I I'm I'm attached to the journey. So I can't I can't give a I can't give a you know I can't go in retrospect and and yet say yeah. anything. Okay. Uh, do you remember or uh, what is it like when Adi or maybe either of the three hmm. directors pick up the call and they're like, we are making a new Tiger film? How? What is it like? With it's always very exciting. I, yeah. I can remember those moments so clearly, except of course the first Ekta Tiger was yeah. not, we're making a Tiger film. It's just, <laughs> this is a film I have, this is an idea I have. It's it's really exciting and it's wonderful when, when that time comes. Yeah. I think Zoya and... The Tiger franchise is really close to my heart. Yeah. I know it's close to all of us, Salman, me, Adi. All of us are mm-hmm. very, very connected and kind of, you know, woven together with this, <laughs> uh, with this franchise. And it's such an exciting world. There's so many things you can do. There's yeah. so many ways you can take the story forward. And now with the entrance into the spy universe, all these different yeah. characters, it's it's such an exciting platform and uh, uh, this i think there's only there's only you can only go up from here yeah. there's, no, there's so many places to go yeah and katrina you you are the og of action when it comes to the hindi film industry how does how do you view action genre and how much do you enjoy performing those stunts because you know from ekta tiger to zinda and mm. now tiger 3 you are spectacular in all those action Thank set you. pieces so um, well, I don't know if I'm I'm the OG. I'm sure there's been many people who've done action, but for me, action and dance are are, are two two disciplines you can say that I have an affinity to. Yeah. I really, really enjoy it, and I love I love doing action and dance for one reason, especially is that you absolutely have to be in the present moment. Yeah. If you lose your focus or if you're distracted, even for a moment. Yeah. You've lost the sequence. You'll yeah. see it in the shot. You'll see if you're disconnected in that yeah. in that dance movement or in that action, action beat. Scene. And uh, I think I like that because it brings all my focus and my concentration into one one place. Yeah. And I enjoy physical expression. I think that's it's something that I always have. Yeah. Um, and act, doing action movies and and as as we said in earlier is. Is something I've always wanted to do. I've spoken about this in so many yeah. interviews earlier that I really want to see strong female action yeah. roles. I'd love to do, you know, a female action franchise. Yeah. And uh, and I think slowly, slowly, step by step, we're we're taking it ahead every <laughs> time. And let's see where it goes. 
you know like you said there are so many people who want to see you in a solo action film <laughs> well i'm sure there must be many offers also so i think when the time is right and when uh, that pr- the combination of the perfect story the perfect team yeah. the perfect director the perfect producer and when i say perfect i mean the right for, yeah. the right f- uh, for that to tell that story when that comes together and and it's the right time for me as well um I would love to do that. I know it's something I've always wanted to yeah. do and I've spoken about this many times and um it'll be fantastic. It it'll, it'll be it'll be great and uh, I know the kind of excitement <laughs> that it would hold for me to do a film like that. So, yeah. let's see. But have you ever discussed Zoya's spin-off with Adi or anyone, any of the directors who are making it? No. <laughs> Mum's the word. Secrets. Okay. Ali was planning one action film with you. That yes. that's something yes. which he has spoken about multiple times. Ali and me times. discuss lots of ideas and he's yeah. he's such a bright mind and he's always thinking mm-hmm. and the wheels of his mind are always turning. And um yeah, there's 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 a few things that we've been discussing yeah. as well and of course me and Adi have discussed um many things, but like I said, you know, it, everything has to align yeah. and then at the right time it will happen. And uh, you know like this this tiger franchise started with ekta tiger and now there is this entire spy universe yes we have seen the crossover of mm-hmm. tiger and pathan mm-hmm. but when will we start seeing crossover of you with probably mm-hmm. tiger and pathan mm-hmm. or a rubai or mm-hmm. other characters from the universe i think everything now has to unfold slowly so step yeah. by step let let's see where um where where now the different all the different yeah. avenues that the spy universe goes and where where um where Adi takes it but i think that's that's the wonderful thing about creating um this kind all these characters is that each each character you know whether yeah. it's um it's Pathan whether it's Kabir whether it's Tiger um they all have such incredible Zoya um yeah. all, all the characters have got such incredible well written characters yeah. that there's so much you can do with them yeah. all these stories can be so exciting and they can all be interwoven and every character will add to the other story yeah. and that's that's uh that's really that's a really beautiful thing and it was a very visionary idea from Adi true and at this point of your career what are the kind of films that you want to associate yourself with because there are so many fans on even social media are saying that what is Katrina doing next what mm. are the kind of films she wants to do mm. so i think it's very important for me i've always believed to do to be very true to yourself when you take decisions. Yeah. Um and especially at this time in my life right now, I'm I'm very conscious to do things at the right time. Yeah. And the choices that I'm making right now, I know that even if for a moment I'm taking a pause mm-hmm. and I'm thinking, okay, let's see what are the films now that are connecting with me, yeah. right? We all evolve as people. Yeah. So maybe a choice I made 8 years ago Yeah. might not be the same choice i would make today. Hmm. So i like to always kind of see what check in where i'm at. Okay, yeah. what is it that is really connecting to me? And i think we all do that as artists. What are the stories that i want to be a part of? Yeah. What do i want to tell? And where will i really be happy and mm-hmm. feel passionate and what kind of an environment? Yeah. And and then take my decisions. Okay. So basically it's all dependent on what connects with you in terms of the script. Yeah, yeah, I think it always has been, but now I think there's even more maybe um you know like barometers that you're yeah. running it by because you you change as a person, yeah. right? And you're you've also done a certain amount of work yeah. and you have that experience and now maybe you're looking for even a slightly new experience. Yeah. And over the last 19 years you have done Maine Pyar Kyun Kiya, Partner, Yuvraj Tiger one, two, three, six films with Salman. How was that? I'm sure, you've missed one. Which one? I think even six. I don't know, but uh, Bharat. Bharat, yeah, Bharat. Seven films with Salman. Mm. How has that journey evolved from the first film till Tiger three? I think we've just both grown along the way, right? Yeah. Like, um, I, I, I must have been what twenty. Twenty-one uh, or something when <laughs> I did that film, or twenty when I did that film. Many pyar kyun kiya and. now as as you grow you be you you become more experienced yeah. at that point i think someone must have done had already done 45 films and that was maybe my second film or third film and uh you gain more experience you gain your own identity as an actor you start to understand um more about yourself more about the craft more yeah. about your art 
And I think then you're able to contribute more because yeah. you're coming from a more solid place. So I think that's been a wonderful journey. <laughs> I didn't think of it that way, actually. You made me think about this after a long yeah. time. Um, that's been a wonderful journey for us, right? To, from many Pyar Kyun Kiya to now that Tiger 3. Good. When we're on set, it is very different. <laughs> you know, you're right. I think, I think now there's, there's more... There's, you, you can collaborate more as actors, that there's mm -hmm. more ease together. Yeah. Correct. And next up for you is Merry Christmas. Yes. It's such an exciting collaboration. You, yeah. Shri Ram Raghavan and Vijay Setupati. Yeah. Interesting. An interesting yeah. setup. And for me, Shri Ram Raghavan was always on my bucket list of directors yeah. that I absolutely wanted to work with. And yeah. it, that was one of my, that was one of my, my dreams. Yeah. I, that, um, again, as I said, really, really <laughs> fortunate that yeah. I got that chance because it just kind of it just kind of came, and um, phenomenal director to work with, incredible mind, um, completely different school. When you're <laughs> on that set, it's a completely different world. Yeah. I told him I said, uh, and mm -hmm. and he's such an incredible collaborator as a human being, as a person, as a yeah. filmmaker. But I told him I said, sir, on camera I've never cried so much. Off camera during the shoot I've never cried so much. <laughs> off camera but on the set I've never cried so much because <laughs> it was such a an, like it was such an intense process yeah and um, but a wonderful one yeah. a wonderful process and uh, Vijay as an actor is um, he'll he'll see things in a way which you just you're like I can I could have never seen it like that <laughs> I never saw it like that and he'll just give you a different vibe take on it yeah um, so looking forward to that as well Perfect. I think January 12th is when it's yes. coming. So New January Year with 12th. you. Yeah. New Year. New Year. I'm going to see you again. Yes. <laughs> and before we wrap up, there's one small thing. Um, you have worked with so many directors through your journey. And you have worked in a certain genre. Mm. So if you have to collaborate with them again, what genre could it be? I'll take four directors' names. You can just say mm -hmm. genre apart from what you have already done with them. Okay. First, Ali Abbasafa. What genre would it be? Yeah. Spy thriller? <laughs> Spy thriller? Spy. Mm -hmm. You have done a spy thriller. I'm saying the one which you have not done. You think he can make it? Sorry, I yeah. have done a spy thriller. Um, I've done all genre, genres. I've done an action. I've done a. Drama. I've done. A, I've done a drama with him. Yeah. I've done a comedy with him. I've done a spy thriller yeah. with him. What's left? Maybe a standalone non-spy action film. Standalone non-spy action yeah. film. There you go. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Kabir. Can I do another spy thriller with him? <laughs> you love spy no, thrillers. No, I love spy thrillers. Um, a love story, maybe. A love story. A love story. Yeah. It has been a while since we have yeah. seen you. And, yeah. Uh, Siddharth Anand. A spy thriller. <laughs> <laughs> they are all. <laughs> yeah. Got to be a spy thriller. Yeah. He has to just make another one. Okay. Bang Bang was an action film. This yeah. is a spy thriller. Yeah. yeah. So it's a different. It's a different take. Thing. Okay. Zoya Akta. Oh, anything. I mean, everything she does is just has such a fresh and novel take on it. So, and I just, I just love her. She's <laughs> phenomenal. Manish? Comedy? Comedy. Okay. And last one, Sri Ram Raghun. Comedy. Oh, even he has a wicked sense of... Oh, yeah, yeah. He has... I love his... It's, I think you call it black comedy. Yeah, black yeah. comedy would yeah. be fun. And before we wrap up, what next for you after Merry Christmas? Have there been any discussions? Could you tell us hint? Give us a hint. No, just focusing on Merry Christmas for the yeah? moment. Okay. Yeah. And any discussions on Tiger 4? Uh, it's just come. <laughs> I think uh, we, we're all, it's in the cinemas now and um, our hearts and minds are still completely yeah. with this journey. So let's see, let's see what the future holds. Perfect. Thank you so much Thank and you. wish you all the best for Thank all you. the films. Yeah. Thank you.